Graphs for Kids. Wow! Today, we are going to learn all about graphs. Graphs can show percentages, pictures, bars, or lines. Graphs summarize important information so that people can quickly learn about a subject. Learning how to read and create graphs is an important skill to have. Let's start by looking at a pictograph. Pictographs are graphs that show pictures. This graph shows pictures of smiley faces. The title at the top tells us that this graph is about favorite first grade field trips. The places the first graders visited are written on the left side of the graph. Art museum, zoo, science museum, and fire station. On the bottom of the graph, it tells us that one smiley face equals five votes. The number of smiley faces in each row add up to the number of votes each place received. Can you tell from the graph which field trip the kids liked the most? Did you say the zoo? It has the most smiley faces. What was the student's least favorite field trip? Fire station. That's right. It only has two smiley faces. Nice going. Pictographs always use pictures to show information. You could use pictures of apples and oranges if the graph is about fruit, or crayons for a graph about colors. Let's move on to another type of graph, bar graphs. This bar graph is giving us the same information as the pictograph, but the bar graph uses bars instead of pictures to give us the same information. Now, let's create another type of bar graph where the bars are facing the other way. This graph is about students' favorite colors instead of field trips. The bar graph has a title on the top, Favorite Student Colors. On the left side of the graph, there are numbers as well as the word students. Each line on the graph represents five students. At the bottom of the graph is the word colors, and each bar represents a different color. The top of each bar touches a line that represents the number of students that like that color. So, 15 students like red, 20 students like blue, and 10 students like pink. Super job! Next, let's look at a line graph. These graphs are helpful when showing information over a period of time. Can you see why this type of graph is called a line graph? Take a look at the graph and see if you can figure out what information it's showing. This graph is measuring how tall Noah grew as he got older. On the left side of the graph are numbers that represent inches. Noah's age is listed across the bottom of the graph. The black line on the graph shows how tall he grew as he got older. Can you see how the line moves upward? As Noah gets older, he also grows taller. Quick quiz. How tall was Noah when he was six years old? The bottom of our graph tells us Noah's age. So let's find the number six and follow it up to the black graph line. Okay, now let's follow the line over to the inches and see where it lines up. Looks like it's right here. 40 inches. So, at six years old, Noah was 40 inches tall. Now, see if you can figure out how tall Noah was when he was nine years old. At age nine, Noah was 50 inches tall. Great job! The last type of graph we are going to look at is actually called a pie chart. Some graphs are also called charts. A pie chart is exactly what it sounds like. This is a graph in the shape of a pie or a circle. 
take a look at this pie chart. The pie chart is cut to show the number of pets in the neighborhood. Using the information on the pie chart, see if you can figure out which animal is the most popular pet in this neighborhood. Did you say dogs? Well done! Now, see if you can figure out which pet is the least popular. I bet you said hamster. You're getting the hang of this. Now that you have learned about four different types of graphs, which type was easiest for you to figure out? The best way to learn about graphs is to create your own. Begin by asking a simple question. If you could ask one question of kids your age all over the world, what would you most want to know? Now, use that question to make yourself a graph and then start graphing your findings. Just keep working at it and you'll be a pro in no time. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.